Inside the strategy room tonight, the ad wars on the campaign trail. McCain and Obama playing the tit for tat by releasing some pretty controversial political ads. And today, McCain's got a brand new one out. It's called The One. Here's part of it. Take a listen. And the world shall receive his blessings. This was the moment when the rise of the ocean began to slow and our planet began to heal. Obama may be the one, but is he ready to lead? Oh boy, joining me now, Fox News political analyst Kirsten Powers on the left, and Fox News political analyst and syndicated radio talk show, radio host Tammy Pruce. Hi ladies, uh, Tammy, Hi let me ask you about that one. Uh, we saw yeah. um, Charlton Heston right there, the parting of the Red Sea, all of that stuff. What do you think the impact is going to be uh, of this for John McCain? Backfire or will this get some traction? Well, it kind of shows that the campaign has a little bit of a sense of humor, and it just proves that they've been awake. Uh, you know, this, is a, this isn't news to all of us. I mean, this is a guy who had his own presidential seal, calls his airplane, what, O Force One. I mean, this is a guy who has moved from confidence to being quite presumptuous uh, and believes that he is God's gift, uh, whereas he's not. So I think it's funny. I think it's appropriate, and I think it reminds people that, in fact, there's more to leadership uh, than acting and being a celebrity. And I think it's, I think it's terrific, and I, I hope the campaign continues to do obvious, this is obvious, Let's it doesn't take a brain surgeon, and hard-hitting commercials and, and funny ones, and I think this pulls it off. Let's see what Kirsten thinks about that. Kirsten, did I he hear a chuckle from you? When you saw that? Uh, I don't think so. No? <laughs> yeah. She I, says, I, it's not funny. Well, I, I don't, I mean, I, I, I don't think it's that funny, but it's, I, I, I think also it's kind of, kind of, kind of I, poking his balloon a little bit. Well, I, it's kind of, I guess it's gotten kind of old. I feel like they've been doing this sort of, this has been what they've been doing sort of nonstop. It's just, you know, it, it doesn't, it doesn't really resonate with me. I don't think that Barack Obama thinks he's the second coming. I think you could argue that some of his supporters think he's the second coming, um, but I, I don't think that he, that he does. I think the quote that's been widely quoted and actually is in that ad but wasn't played in that one right there the one that was in the Washington Post has been continually taken out of context where he was actually saying that he was a symbol not act, you know that he realized when he was out there that it wasn't about him actually that it was that he just kind of became a symbol for what people were looking for it was actually more of a, a, a humble statement so I think people are looking for things the seal let's face it do we really believe Barack Obama designed that seal it was out for one I day I don't know somebody was did a probably not but come such on, a bright you know, idea you work on a I'd campaign hope he'd be in charge and, and, oh you're right really you still hope he's he not in charge Approving seals, I yeah, I would hope not. I've worked on campaigns, and I can tell you that presidential candidates are not approving signage. Okay, so um, Kirsten, but it was out you for think one not day. so funny. But the question I, is, how will independent voters take this kind of thing? Because this is the kind of story that has not gone away. Mm -hmm. this, mostly, in, in news cycles now, a story goes away within 24 hours. But this is one that we consider to really have legs, well, because lots of folks are talking about this Obama humility thing. I guess, you know, I don't know. I've never known that voters not to vote for somebody because they wanted them to not think they could win the presidency. I mean, you know, let's face it. I mean, I don't know. A I mean, I'm supposed to believe that John McCain's not arrogant or that anyone that's ever run for president. Mm -hmm. It's not, that's not what people are going to be voting on. And, you know, it, this is this is the main message coming out of the McCain campaign. It's just to ridicule him and, and treat him like and, an airhead with, okay. a, with a celebrity Tammy, ad. what about that? You know, some of the Democrats are saying John McCain should be talking about issues and he shouldn't be running a campaign that's this lighthearted. What do you think of that? He is talking about issues. Every single day he talks about the issues. The fact of the matter is, I would hope that Barack Obama is in charge of his campaign, and if it took he him... He is in charge. Okay, okay he's, all right. He's he's been, ladies, ladies, we're done with that one. We're done with the presidential seal. We've like, moved on Kirsten, from that. Just because he doesn't approve a seal doesn't mean he's not in charge. That's just a false Just a minute. Let me... Can I get in here just for one second? Okay, ladies, we're going to have to go. We're going to have to go, okay? When the gals start bickering, we're going to cut it off there. Thanks a lot. Appreciate you both for joining us, Tammy Bruce and Kirsten Powers.